you guys. I figured we would start off this stream with the trailer that I made for Zombies Chronicles last week, okay? I feel like it's a really hype trailer, we're gonna watch it together now. Without further ado, buckle up, I'm gonna turn off the webcam for this. Let's go, this is my trailer, we'll watch the official stream in about two minutes time, let's go. Hi, I'm Jason Blundell, director of Zombies here at Treyarch. The team has been hard at work creating a memorable DLC season of Zombies content for the fans to enjoy. And as a special treat, we have a short clip to get you guys ready for the DLC to come. Enjoy. Okay, so that's the trailer I made last week, just to hype everyone up as much as I could. And we're now going to be jumping into the Treyarch stream that I think is going to be on treyarch.treyarch.com slash treyarch. Treyarch.treyarch.com. That sounds about right, doesn't it? That sounds about right. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Treyarch, where you at? Where you at, Treyarch? Bring us the goods. Bring us the goods! Two minutes until the official stream starts, everybody. Two minutes. It's on the Treyarch YouTube and Facebook, apparently, so we're going to be going over there. Please tell me that we can find the dang thing. That would be very nice. Uh, let's see. Treyarch, where you at? My brothers, they're live. They're counting down, one minute and a half to go. Let's get that full screen, shall we? And let's get that on the screen for you, wonderful people. And let's minimize this bad boy. Yep, uh, this is me. Hello. Hi, guys. Mr. Off Waffles here. Uh, if you guys could tell me how the gameplay was a moment ago. Sorry, how the volume was a moment ago. That would be fantastic. Let's also get some likes on the stream to start things off. But we've got one minute. One freaking minute. Okay, this is going to be beyond lit. This is just going to be amazing. Okay, so I'm checking your comments now in the chat. A lot of people saying, let's get pumped. Let's get going. A lot of excitement in there. I should indeed be studying, but I'm bringing you this now. How is the volume is another question that I'd like you guys to answer if possible. If it was too loud, if it was too quiet, that sort of thing. Someone just subscribed. Awesome. Welcome to the channel. Volume is good, okay, 30 seconds, oh my goodness, 25 seconds, getting there now. Loads of people in the chat losing their goddamn minds, and so am I, to be honest. So am I. I've already got Zombies Chronicles gameplay on my channel, which is super exciting, but in five seconds, Jason Blundell's gonna come out and give us some intel, so, let's do this. I'm gonna try and stay quiet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's looping. Why is it looping? Okay. No. Where's the sound? Where's the sound? Diving a little further into the studio's latest project, as we announced last week, Zombies Chronicles. 
No, no doubt, doubt by now you start seeing news regarding, regarding the availability of pre orders on Amazon Prime, Prime Primal's most advanced, advanced May 16th launch, launch on, on PS4 first. first. Lol? I dive into all things Amazon Prime Primal's, Primal's talk about, about, about a dev point of view and maybe drop a few tweets along the way. Brought with me co studio head and master of all things zombies, which is Jason Lundell. Please fix the audio. Thank you, Joe. All right. All right. In, in case, case anyone may have missed, missed JC Backfire stream last, last week, when you officially announced, announced Zombies on Prime. That's not me. What's the OVO of you? What's Zombies on Prime all about? Uh, Zombies on Prime is, uh, eight, eight lovingly remastered maps okay. from World War II, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, We have to live with it. And it's their stream, guys. Uh, Pat, that, that we really, really kind of, uh, Lovingly, lovingly approach, you know, approach, approach to kind of, kind of the true and genuine, and genuine kind of, kind of original, original execution, execution, but also, also kind of bringing, bringing today day more modern hardware. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, this is a project, project that's been in the works for, for, for a while, wow. even more than we've already heard. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, it's, 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 it's no small thing I mentioned on the reveal. It's, it's, um, it's been, been going, going for quite a long, long time. time. I mean, uh, the number of guys you can bring in, kind of eight maps. I think I think I jumped through. No, 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 is messed up. I'm gonna turn the volume up. If you could, walk us through the eight maps. What do we got? Okay, okay. You're gonna ask me to do this again. They're echoing. Like, that's Treyarch echo. Nathan Toten? Yep, yep. Shangri La? Yep, yep. Kino Toten? Moon. Moon. Yes. Yes. Shinonuma? Yep, yep. Ascension? Okay, okay. Varukt? Yeah, yeah. And Origin. Origin. <laughs> there you go, you got it, Jason. <laughs> we got it all, we got it all. all. Got got it all. It all. Uh, uh, so, so, why these why maps? These maps? Um, these are essential. essential. So, so, if, if you, uh, if you uh, joined us, let's say, let's say, let's say Black, Black Ops 3, 3. Yeah. Uh, uh, some, some people wouldn't have kind of known, known how we how got there. there. Mm -hmm. um, and these maps are the ones that are essential to kind of bring you into the story. So, so that's why we kind of chose those maps. It was, they fixed uh, it. It was a very difficult process because they fixed their audio out there. Okay. Um, okay. We felt these were the essential maps that allowed people to kind of get a grasp of our storyline um, and kind of bring you up and kind of get you ready for the for the Black Ops Three mainline content that we did before. Awesome. Well, okay. We're, we're going to come back to the uh, the storyline in a mm -hmm. moment, but yes. Uh, it, if I'm not mistaken, uh, so when you talk about all the updates uh, that are included. Uh, you know, you've got the updated audio, the visuals, a new AI system, yes. but also the, the gobblegum economies, new weapons are also included. So if you choose to enhance your zombies experience with yep. it, you can. If not, you're good to go. Uh, but there's something special about the, the gobblegums. Uh, there will have two new whimsical yes. gobblegums. Okay. Uh, with the purchase, people will be able to pick up 20 vials of liquid divinium along with an exclusive pack-a-punch weapon camo. Yes. So. So there's two whimsicals that are associated directly with Zombie Chronicles, yeah. but also on, on May 16th, because this is kind of a celebration of, of okay. zombie lore and, and, and uh, where we're up to in the zombie storyline. So on May 16th, when Chronicles comes out, we'll also be releasing uh, eight gobblegums for all the community, regardless whether you get Chronicles or not. So that's oh, nice. We're going to come back to that yeah. a little bit later, because mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to remind me how not to screw that up. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but coming back to the, uh, the story, uh, the storyline, so Turn it up. if okay. someone has been playing zombies since 2008, I mean, this is this is the storyline. It's it's intact, yes. correct? Yes, absolutely. It's um, I was loud. It's a it's a, an honest recreation of those maps. And uh, oh, here we go. Here's the image. So uh, <laughs> one thing that we uh, announced on uh, uh, when we first started talking about Chronicles was the, was the storyline was yeah. where it kind of came from, and uh, uh, now it's kind of been out and people have been looking at it. Uh, hopefully, they can see the relevance of the of the Chronicles maps and the fact that it sets up that story. Uh, and there's more stuff in here than than just those seven, but it it was very important for us to kind of tie it all together so that uh, certain conversations can now be put to rest and the community can get ready to talk about new things. So okay. that was why it was an essential essential part, and that's why the pack's also an essential thing. It lets everyone get up to speed and get to the same place. Uh, last week, when when you first shared this, uh, it went live on CallDuty.com backslash 
uh, Zombies Chronicles. It should still yeah. be up there with a magnifying glass to help you get through yes. all of the copy. Um, so uh, it's my understanding that several members of the narrative partner, uh, department have teetered on the edge the of insanity department. Uh, while, while creating this and, thing. And thank you for asking, because they're recovering nicely. Great. Um, Great. Flowers are accepted at Treyarch for, <laughs> for those individuals. Um, it really was a, a labor of love, love. Sorry, It took like it took a couple of months to actually put it together, because there was Damn. stuff that was already laid down. And when we first started executing this, it was actually one long line. Um, what? But the problem with that was it was 16 foot long. What? So, uh, and the other thing was that um, there's certain information that the physical representation of it is also essential. So I know that certain people have taken it and turned it into like a book, and that's fantastic. I love that. That's but on my website, Conorium.com. It's laid out, which is also relevant. So yeah. um, there's, there's hidden depths, as they say. Hey. All right. Hey. Well, it, the, it seems like the studio uh, sort of uh, went to awesome. great lengths to sort of uh, bring added creative to around Zombies Chronicles, the timeline just being one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been a few things that, that we've been teasing on our social channels for the last couple of days regarding yeah. an artist, a very special guest artist that yes. was brought in for, for Chronicles. If you could tell us a little bit about who this person was and what they, what they brought to the Chronicles experience. So, so the artist, um, and for people who have kind of been following this, I, I love my traditional artist, I love my artist, and so um, we've been very blessed to kind of get in touch with really big name artists to kind of do our, our posters and our kind of key art uh, right. as we're going along. And as Chronicles were coming, I was looking for the same thing. And yeah. we were very fortunate to be able to get in contact with uh, Yoji Shinkawa, um, probably famed or known for, uh, for the Metal Gear series. And I was a huge fan, yeah. still I'm a huge fan of the Metal Gear series. So to be able to work with him and have him realize our, our main characters in his very unique and distinctive style was a, an opportunity I, I couldn't really pass up. There they are. So he came in and he, uh, he created these, these originals around the, uh, the four classic characters. Yep. Uh, but these also sort of level up into a very special pre-order bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So if there's anyone that pre-orders Chronicles between now and when it launches, we'll have the opportunity to get this very special PS4 dynamic theme yep. uh, featuring all four characters. Oh, um, nice. So this, if, if you happen to really like the, the Yoji art uh, and you, you want to get a, an extra little piece of it, it's worth noting that on Friday, May 12th, across all consoles, uh, we're going to be running a very special program. Oh. Right? For multiplayer and zombies players, uh, there's an opportunity to unlock some special in-game content Ooh. through headshots. Okay, oh. so tune into your in-game comms and the message of the day. Uh, you're going to see this image, and we'll lay out all the numbers and all the goals to aim for. Nice. Uh, whenever you get through tier one and tier two, you'll have the opportunity to unlock calling cards that feature two of the classic characters. Get to tier three, you'll unlock an animated calling card featuring all four, and all of these include uh, art from Yoji. Uh, but if you if you go through uh, all four levels, you will unlock a separate pack of punch camo available across all weapons. Again, that starts that on May 12th. That is and sick. And make sure to tune in to In Game Comms Message of the Day for all those details. I want that camo. But Jason, earlier in the stream, you were talking about sort of the, the special celebration that Zombies Chronicles will kick off. Uh, and on May 16th, it will kick off Eight Days of the Undead. Oh. I know, really? Like on oh. cue. Uh, so, kind of tell us a little bit about sort of the, the genesis of this. Um, the genesis, eh? It's, it's really just, as you said, it's, it's because it's such a foundation, because it's such yeah. an essential part if you're a Zombies fan to kind of play these through and then also yeah. see that kind of reimagined graphics and uh, brought to a kind of modern console. We were like, okay, how do, we, how do we really celebrate it? And eight maps, eight days of the undead. So that was the, that's the idea. So we'll, be at, we'll uh, release some some new information around the 16th, but just know that the eight days will feature things like double XP rewards for everyone, nice. special community challenges, and the ability to unlock exclusive content, including zombies calling cards, a weapon camo, some gobble gums, and a PS4 theme. Regarding those gobble gums, Jason, yes. please nice. clarify again how the gobble gums work. Okay, so uh, with your purchase of Zombie Chronicles, there's two whimsicals that are directly associated with that pack. Nice. But for everybody, regardless if they get Chronicles or not, uh, we're releasing eight new Gobblegums into the cool. community. Uh, and then on top of that, to also celebrate, um, we're now going to make 
the first purchase from the Gobblegum machine uh, free. In other words, you don't have to spend any points when you first use it in the game, and that's going to be going forward now for the rest of Black Ops 3 games. Wow! Right. That's what All they right. did for Easter for charity. That's so awesome. Today, setting a land speed record here, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we brought a very special treat with us. Oh, uh, trailer! Trailer! Before we we get into that, uh, drop a like to summon the trailer, guys. It's all about. Mm -hmm. um, any any thoughts about sort of the team's endeavor with Chronicles here? Oh, I mean, it's um, it really is um, a passion project. Yeah, it really was, and and also to think in mind as well, the <laughs> same people who made Sorry. the original maps also made these maps. We had, um, and it's, it's really fun because that love um, I feel really kind of shows in, in the in the uh, in the levels because. They love the fact that they can kind of come back now and execute with new, you know, modern hardware, uh, the kind of new powers of the console, uh, and real, realize the maps they originally created, creating it again now. So trailer, they've worked trailer. extraordinarily hard for, for a very long time to, to make this happen. And, and hopefully that love and that passion kind of shows when, the, when people see the map. Well, if we could uh, maybe just throw to Sam and, and yeah. take us to sort of Noct, uh, just kind of get a, a little sneak peek of what people are in for. I mean, it, this is where, you know, Noct is where it, it all began. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it's been... Actually, this is one map that it's has so popped dark. up uh, since we first announced it. People have been talking about Noct, uh, Moon, and Origins in particular. Yeah. Uh, so take us all the way back to this beginning. Don't worry, we're, we're heading toward the, the sure. special tree here. Uh, <laughs> but take us back to Noct super quick. Yes. Um, this this story's been told before. I'd, I'd like to tell it again, because it really speaks to the, the spirit of Treyarch. Um, Nact was created and the whole zombie mode was created uh, during World at War. And World at War uh, was a, is a roller coaster of a project that took uh, so much work to kind of make and really it's a standout project in, in Treyarch history. But the zombie mode was made in people's spare time. Um, and that's right. why Nact is essentially a section of uh, a World at War map that got just reused. It just really, make sure it we're in really was made from the bits left over. Yeah. Um, and people just got sucked into it and brought in and played it and got hooked on it. Um, and so NACT always has that kind of special place in our heart when we look at it, because I think it really stands for uh, the spirit of Treyarch. So no, no remastered map would be, or pack would be, would be full without, without NACT in there. But you kind of bring that all the way forward uh, in, in the Chronicles experience. And there's also Origins, which is a great springboard to the Black Ops 3 Zombies experience. And, and sort of those events. Uh, just recap Origins for us real quick. Yeah, Origins um, Origins was interesting Origins. because we'd... Um, Ooh, nice. It Hello. was a risk. Like most things that we do, it was a little bit dangerous. We were going to say, okay, we're going to take you back to World War One. We're going to reimagine the kind of characters and all the people understand where that fits in the story. But at the time, it was, you know, how, how are people going to receive this? We, we had new characters, we had a new timeline in, in terms of where it was sitting in time. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, we really wanted to go out with a bang at the end of uh, Black Ops 2. And, um, Damn. you know, uh, the, the main Easter egg quest um, yes. really kind of provoked a reaction in the, in the community. But that, you know, that was also uh, similar to, to Moon. You know, you mentioned Moon before. Sure. Um, that was a very provocative ending also. You know, we fired the rockets and blew up the earth. Sorry, spoiler. Um, <laughs> and so... Uh, oh, it's so um, pretty. I put my gameplay out for the for moon today. Origins, it was like, okay, how do, we, how do we push this console to the max? And that's one of the fun things about coming to Chronicles because um, I felt like Origins wanted to go so much further, uh, but you can only go so far with the power of the console at the time. So being able to come back to it allowed us to uh, re-realize and kind of do those steps that we'd love to have done way back when. So now it seems like we've set the stage for, for today's special treat. Mm -hmm. You know, you do from the, from the beginning in Noct all the way through to Origin setting the stage for Black Ops 3. Today we kind of celebrate all things. Yes. What do you bring with you? Okay, so uh, through Black Ops 3, and this actually started, we go. interestingly enough, back at World at War. When Drop we those likes. Do research because. Um, I've always enjoyed doing our music videos. Yeah. Little videos yes. we did, little kind of pieces, which at first they were maybe just a, a simple kind of marketing tool, but when we got hold of it, we were like, okay, how do we, how do we imbue this with the kind of love and passion so it doesn't just seem like a, a flat asset? Um, and as we went forward, we've just kept on doing this. Go fast forward to the Black Ops 3 season, every time we released a pack, we did like an associated music video, 
Yeah. Uh, and with that, we told a little bit of narrative that people may have not seen in the in the map. Um, but for the for the storyline guys, it kind of fleshes out the world. So here we go for Zombie Chronicles. Uh, here we go. We thought we'd take the same uh, same route. Here we go and uh, make an asset which um, hopefully people should enjoy and also should raise people's eyebrows. Oh, zombies would be nothing if it weren't for raising a few eyebrows. Sure. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Let's go. To thank our crew today: Sam, Robert, Lee, Ben, Foxy. Thanks for all of your help. And with that, we will see you on May 16th with the release of Zombies Chronicles. For now, let's check out that music video. Have a good one, everybody. Uh, let's do this. Oh my goodness me! Oh, oh, Sam. Oh man. Oh, what was that? We need to go back and look at that. Kino. Oh, more. And more. Oh, okay. Hello. All of these hidden images, man. Were they all Shriekers? Make sure the windows are locked before you come down to the basement. That quote. Treyarch, you can't leave us there. You can't leave us there, Treyarch. No. There's so many hidden images in that thing. We're going to break them down right now. We're going to watch it again and break them all down. This is going to be hype as hell. Their stream is offline, which means the trailer should be on their channel, which means I'm going to download the trailer, which means we're going to watch it together. They're about to upload it. I know it. It's going to be that, unless it's on the Call of Duty one. It could be on the Call of Duty one. Let's see. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Let's see. Where's that trailer at, guys? Where are it at? It's going to be on the Treyarch channel because it's a music video. There. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, Rickton. 18. Wait. R why is Rickton in the thumbnail? Look. Look. Peggy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um. Uh. Holy moly, the hype is real. Give me a moment, everybody. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. What did you think of that? I ruined it by talking. You ruined it by joining my stream and moaning when it says reaction in the title, mate. You absolute melon. Jesus Christ. Right. Let's see. Um, we're going to go and download this right now. Add new link. There we go. Thank you very much. Holy guacamole, that freaking story trailer, man. Like, god damn. Whew. Continue, come on, download it, download it, download it. Where is the download? Where is it? Start download. 
Let me just real quick, real quickaroni, quickaroni pepperoni. Um, let's get my camera off there real quick. I'm just gonna really, really quickly do a little diddle doodle, little diddle doodle. Get that out of the way. Diddle doodle out the way. There we go. That can go over there now. I'm just downloading the video so we can break it down, guys. I'm downloading the video so we can break this bad boy down. We're going to watch through the entire thing. We're going to slow it down frame by frame. You are not going to miss a single thing in this video. You know me. I am that guy that goes through the trailers frame by frame. Single frames at a time and finds everything in them. And that's exactly what we're going to do together right now, okay? So just give me a moment to download it. This is hype as hell. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to really quickly as well, while that's downloading, drop myself a little cheeky... Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is the story trailer for Zombies Chronicles, and oh my goodness me, my mind is blown. I'm breaking it down in a stream right now, but for now, here's the trailer itself. There we go. So that'll be... Oh, hello. That was loud. That'll be ready for me to plonk onto the video that I will know to upload for this, as well as doing this stream. The video is still downloading, so we've got to wait just a moment. That's going to be the Zombies Chronicles trailer. Holy moly! This is going to be so good. There was a monster shadow, people are saying. Like Spike. Let's just, let's just keep liking. Let's do a continuous, like, like hill or something. Like, holy moly. I'm so excited. The file is still downloading. It's taking a little bit longer. It's, uh, I guess kind of slow because it's 60 FPS and stuff. So it's like, it makes it kind of longer to download. I think we might be done now though. Let's see. I'm just looking for it in my computer downloads. Okay. And let's make sure that we've got everything in the right spots. Okay. Holy guacamole, everybody. Holy guacamole, indeed. Let's see. Is that gonna is that gonna work? Is that gonna cooperate? Do 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 zombies chronicles story trailer. Come on, I need to freaking create this. Goodness gracious me! All right, let's go. There we go. All right, I think that I'm ready to get it into Premiere and we can start breaking this bad boy down. Okay, you guys ready for this? You better be ready. You better be ready. So just give me a moment, and we're gonna get this in Premiere now. Um. Un momento, por favor. Okay. And... Let's see. Um... Nearly there. Okay, guys, I need you to let me know if you can see my screen right now. We're going to be jumping into the trailer breakdown. So let me know if you can see my screen. Okay? You should be able to. And I need to make sure that... Um, where is it? So that is going to be probably super loud. So let's mute that for now. So this is the trailer. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow it down here. Uh, like so. And then we're literally going to go in for it. Actually, we probably don't need to slow it down. We could just watch it again first, but let's, let's start scrubbing, I guess, and we can figure out what we're going to find. Okay, so starts off, and there we go. So now I need to make sure that it's, make sure that it's all full screen for you guys. Can you all see that? Yes, people can see the screen. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, uh, the last thing I need to check then is just... Okay, guys, guys, guys. Do you want to watch it again through first? Or do you want to just break this bad boy down? Like, do you want to just watch it, like, without slowing it down and everything? Just a regular watch first? Or do you want to just go straight into the breakdown? Because now that I've got it downloaded, it'll be, like, really smooth. It'll look really good. So, that's up to you guys. Some people saying screen is black. It doesn't look like it's black to me, so I think we're okay. That was loud. Holy moly. Um, let's get that out of the way. Excuse me. There we go. Move my camera. Where do you want me to move my camera to? No. Okay, people saying break it down, I think. Okay, let me just, in that case, do this. 
and do this and do this and this. I'm just getting it all set up for y'all. I'm getting it set up for y'all. Okay, this is gonna be so exciting, man. There were so many hidden images in that thing. Like, what the hell? So many! Okay. Uh, let's see. And the music as well. What was the deal with the music? That was new, wasn't it? I think that was new music. Um... Okay, here we go. We're finally ready. We are finally ready. The official Zombies Chronicles storyline reveal trailer. Cool. Okay, so if I go back to Premiere and we go full screen and I get you guys on board. Very exciting stuff. Here we go. You ready for this, guys? You ready for this? We're going to break this bad boy down right now, okay? Uh, let's just tweet this out. Breaking down the trailer live. There we go. Here we go. From the very beginning, okay? From the beginning. Peggy 18. Here we go. So it starts off in Samantha's room, okay? Starts off in her room. The candles are burning. The gramophone's on the window. In fact, you know what? One thing I'm going to do before we go any further is I'm going to actually brighten this bad boy up. Let's go to the effect panel. Let's get the brightness and contrast effect. Let's chuck that on there. Go to effect controls and give it a little bit of brightness and contrast just so that everyone can actually see it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Drop a like if you're excited for this, guys. We're going to break down all these crazy images. It's going to be so damn good. It's going to be so good. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So Samantha's in her room. She's holding her little, her little snow globe. We can see outside the window a little bit, which is very rare for us seeing inside her, like, being in her room. We normally cannot see outside at all. There's trees out there. There's the snow globe. And a load of sort of bits of snow, <laughs> I guess. And then we go into the map, okay? So, so far, so good. Let me make sure the quality is at max, by the way. Let me play back resolution full, full. Okay, cool. All right, so we're good so far. All is well so far. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. So we've got Verrooked. And we go through the little bit in the window there where people used to chuck grenades back in the day and like throw grenades at each other. That's Verrooked sorted. Looking absolutely a saucy. Now let's go to the next map I believe as we go out of the window here. Let's just check to make sure there's nothing actually outside the window. Looks like that's pretty normal Verrooked I believe. Although there's that snow transition which is kind of interesting. Then it goes to Nakaron Totem which is not snowy. So that is interesting. And wait, hold on. No, okay. So that's just some shells on the right-hand side. I thought that that text and the... Or those, like, black things might have been the Manhattan Down text. That would have been a really weird, like, coincidence from Kino de Toten. You've got them zooming around. Again, that snow transition. Interesting. I feel like that kind of represents something now. Like, the passage of time almost. And is there a shot here where we can see Peter McCain? Is there a shot? I don't believe this is the right part of the building for us to be able to see him. Let me just make sure that this is all coming up on the screen. It looks like it is. Okay. Is this looking good, guys, for you so far? How's it looking? Okay. We're going to keep keep breaking down. You can see a teddy there. Keeping going through. Going through the floorboard. Very nice. Look at those reflections. Okay. Pause. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay, so these are the Black Ops 3 style dogs. Looking absolutely monstrous. Deary me. So, Shinonuma was the first map in which the dogs were ever introduced. This was the first time we ever saw them. And so here, we have what looks like four separate shots of the dogs looking hella gnarly, okay? That is our first hidden image, or a set of hidden images, in this trailer. And that kind of looks like text on the left, but I don't think it is. Let's keep moving on. There's the dog there. There's the dog there looking rather, rather excited, I suppose, would be the right word. And another dog shot. Another dog shot there. And then I guess we're transitioning out of the hidden images, and we're going back to trailer mode. So then we go into... The flogger area of Shinonuma, the snow globe, just does its little snow transition. We're in Kino da Toten now, and it looks beautiful. Okay, okay, we got another transition there. Let's back it up. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 
So that's a Nova Crawler for sure, looking rather gnarly. And there's another one. Those things have big mouths. Like, real talk. They got some big mouths, okay? And, oh, hello, there's another big mouth, and no eyes as well. They're just, they're just not very pretty, are they? So, Kino is obviously well known for those Nova Crawlers, because we went through all of the World at War maps, and then Kino came out, and in, uh, well, sorry, Kino and Five came out, and in both of them, you had those cheeky little Nova Crawlers just sniffling their way around. Look at those things. They've got such big freaking mouths. Are they related to Keepers? It's debatable. Let's keep moving it on. Okay, so they go back to Kino then. And we get a nice look at the auditorium. And, uh, oh, that's interesting. What's that? Oh, hello, more crawlers. But is that like a green symbol on, on the on the teleporter? And it's like pink there as well. I have actually played Kino Da Totem Remastered. I've played all of the Zombies Chronicles maps. In fact, you can see on my shirt, I've got the Zombies Chronicles shirt. But that green kind of blob on the front of the teleporter looks weird to me. What do you think that is, guys? Do you have any idea? Does anyone know? I'm not sure. Okay, let's, let's keep moving it on. Let's see. So, oh, hello. Okay, so we've got more Nova Crawlers. Cool. <laughs> Their mouths are so big. How many times am I going to need to say this? Freaking huge. All right, and then there's like a reflected one, I guess, there as well. Oh, they're just having a party. They're doing the Harlem Shake or something. Getting pretty excited. Look at that freaking set of teeth. Goodness gracious! Oh man, there's gonna be some seriously cool stuff hidden in this trailer. Like, there's gonna be seriously cool things. Seeing as this is just the first, like, opening 20 seconds or something. Alright, so there's that green symbol on there. What is that? Is it just like an extra light or something? Looking a bit strange? Then the teleporter effect goes off, so that's really cool. And then look at that teleport animation! Holy moly, look at that! Every wait, wait. Hold on. Did I see text in there? Let's make sure I'm going frame by frame. I'm gonna zoom in, because otherwise you can... You can accidentally miss frames without knowing it. Okay, we're definitely going frame by frame now. Did I see any... T okay, no, I didn't. It's just that there was that kind of strange effect on the outside. So, that was interesting. Let's keep it going. What else have we got going here? That's just the teleport effect looking hella gnarly. And then that snow transition. And we're back in Samantha's room. So, we see the mannequin. We see the vase. We see the foot poster that we've seen before in Black Ops 3. And in the Revelations intro, I believe, that's on the walls of the house. You've got a vase there, that classic clock. The candles go out. So this is interesting. Those candles are lit, fam. And then they get extinguished as the camera pans. And there's this weird green vignette around the screen. So what exactly is this kind of mysterious force that we are seeing through the eyes of here? If anyone has any ideas, let me know, because... This is peculiar. You've got that hat stand there, another poster in the background. The Dur- Oh, hello! Okay. The Dur Eisendracher um, poster. A monkey bomb on the shelf. Maybe some bean bags or something, and the mini mystery box. But the interesting thing is this. Look. Look at this transition. Look at this. That's- Is that a zombie? That's one frame. That zombie is there for literally one frame. Does anyone recognize who that zombie, like, is that a person that we know? Is that a zombified version of a character that we know? I don't really know. Like, I'm trying to figure out if this is something that is meant to have some meaning, but I'm not sure. If anyone has any idea, then I'm, I'm absolutely all for hearing it. I'm looking at the chat right now. What's up, guys? Hi, guys, Mr. Offwaffles here. People are saying it's Sam's spirit or Sam's soul. That's interesting. Let's keep moving. So then it goes like inverted and we get another shot. Oh, more people. Is that... Who is... It? Could that be Peter? Who? What? What are these images? So... First of all, what's that? So it goes from this zombie shot here. Okay. Through to... And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying this... Drop a like on the stream. We've got nearly 18,000 people in here right now, which is bonkers. Okay. What is this? I can't tell what that is. The inverted shot is really, really difficult to make out. But then the next shot definitely has, like, you can see, like, a hand down here and some kind of thing going on. But that, again, is really hard to tell. It looks like maybe, like, a zombie here. That's, like, an eye. That's another eye. That's a nose. That's a mouth. And it's, like, reaching out towards the camera like that. But then in the next shot, it's completely different. Like, it changes completely. We just had a donation as well from 
Justice Gaming. Thank you for the five dollars. Please answer this. Will it be free for season pass holders? No, it will not. So what's in this shot? That's a person for sure. But who? And why? Like, I can't really tell. Let's see if there's any more context later on. No, they just disappear. They just completely dip. Okay, it's going inverted again. Are we going to see any more spirits? The box opens. Okay, nice. Opens up a little bit. We've got some more shelves there. Kind of hard to tell what's actually on those right now. What's on the floor down there? Some kind of chair or something, maybe. Okay, we've got a shelf with all the perks on it. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Interesting. Okay. Another poster there that we can't quite make out right now. Not sure what's in that poster. We've got something interesting here. What's that? What? What's that? That colourful thing. There's a cup. Oh, hello. Okay, hold on. There's like a weird blue teddy thing under the table as well. I don't think we've seen that before. Like, what on earth? What on earth is that? So we've got that rocket. We've got the chest set. This thing in front of the chest set is... Ba oh, hello. We've got a lot more images here. And some of them are really clear. Oh. Hello. Hello. Okay, so... It looks like the inverted shot isn't anything necessarily special, right? And then... It goes to this. Huge zombie head on the side here. Another zombie there. Maybe like some kind of... Is that like a, a dead zombie? Or like a... Some kind of uh, corpse? Or a mummy of some kind? Or something? Like what is the deal? Then that goes away and you've got another shot of you can see a zombie here like kind of grabbing and reaching forwards. There's a candy from Buried in the Cup someone said. It doesn't look like it to me. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's candies from Buried somewhere around here. But what is that? Oh, people are saying that th that's what that is? A candy from Buried? Or Gobblegum? But it looks like, it looks like a weird like Rubik's Cube type thing. People are saying it's Gobblegum on the table. Guys, do you really think that that's Gobblegum? Like, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I feel like that's not Gobblegum, but I could be wrong for sure. A lot of people are saying it's Gobblegum. Some people are saying it's Maxis, which is just cracking me up. Like, yeah, it's definitely Maxis, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see what the chat's saying. He's reading chat right now. It's pretty lit, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty lit indeed. It's a ghost? Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's see Let's see what else we can find. The fact that there's this blue toy thing down here, that's really weird. Like, I don't know what the deal is with that weird blue toy. But let's keep it going. So we get these shots. These shots of the zombies. And that another shot of the zombie there. And then... Uh, do we get one more? Okay, it looks like we get one more. So it, it's the zombies are kind of reaching forward like this. And then, hard to tell what's going on in this frame, but we have a hand, and then another zombie, okay, and then they disappear. So that's just like a series of zombies. We've got two donations coming in from Benjamin. Benjamin saying it's Gobblegums. Thank you for the donation, Benjamin. I appreciate that muchly, very much. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep going. See, are they Gobblegum? Part of me thinks that that is Gobblegum there, but part of me just thinks that it looks too much like a conglomeration of stuff. Like, and it's in a glass. Who puts Gobblegum or Bubblegum in a glass? I guess if it's like a container for them, but it just looks a bit weird, man. So, the spirit that we're kind of inside right now kind of goes zooming around the room. We just had a load more donations come in. Holy moly, hello. Original username with a $2 and J with a $3. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate those donations. A huge amount. But we kind of knock over the chess pieces there. So we're definitely getting an insinuation that we're some kind of evil spirit. The light goes out as well. And this eerie green kind of ambience is really coming into the room a lot now. There's Samantha's bed. We see the green light on the floor. And then underneath, there is a panzer looking hella spooky. We go past the panzer. Is that an origin staff? Guys, what are we thinking this thing is behind the panzer? Is that a staff that's emitting this green light? 
Is that the remade version of the Windstaff that's green in the Revelations outro? People are saying the Dark Ether. Yeah, that's a very good. That's a very good call. That is a very good call indeed. They look like bottle caps. Yeah, they kind of did actually on the table. That's true. They did kind of look like bottle caps. People are saying it's Monty. I think that might be a staff there, guys. Which is really interesting. You've got an Origins robot. Oh, well, actually, that's not necessarily even an Origins robot. That could be the Keeper Protector. So, we've got Origins staffs, the Keeper Protector, or... Hold on, what's that? There's like a little squiggle on the floor there. Or a giant robot. It's kind of hard to tell. More hidden images. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. We got another donation from a Viral Devils. It's a Matryoshka doll. Okay. We got those dolls in there as well then. Okay, so another shot of zombies. Okay. Okay. Come on. Give us something a bit more clear. Uh, it's flashing around again. And the freaking Panzer or what? I'm oh, sorry, not the Panzer. The uh, giant robot or the... Silver Protector gets knocked over again by this spirit. You've got your characters there. So you've got all sorts of stuff on the window sills once again. Richterfun looking like he's in... He's stuck in T-pose for sure. Wait, so we've got more than four characters here. There's Richterfun. That's definitely Nikolai. That's Takio on the floor. That's Dempsey. So who's in her hand? Who is that? Is it a zombie? Is it... Who is that zombie? Can anyone make it out? Can anybody figure out what's in her hand? Because we've got Richterfun, we've got Nikolai, we've got Dempsey. That is Dempsey, right? That is Dempsey, yeah. And we've got Takio on the floor, but then this... Is it like a, a zombie model? It kind of looks like a like the Mob of the Dead zombie model, maybe? But it's kind of hard to tell, because like the, the Mob of the Dead zombie model has loads of like barbed wire on it, but this thing doesn't look like that, so... That's interesting, anyway. Maybe maybe just a regular zombie, and then she's like, Oh yeah, it's a zombie, okay, you can see, you can see its head, you can see the red eyes, it's the mob of the dead zombie. Cool. So we were right about that, and she kind of like, swings it past the snow globe, and then we go back inside the snow globe, and it's the house again, and it's all snowy. And then we've got that time transition, and then it's going to Origins. So Origins gameplay here. Zombies looking pretty beastly. Wandering forwards. We're going to have some more hidden images, no doubt, in a moment. Where are they? Okay, so it's just stomping around. Giant robot, as you do. We still do have that green effect, by the way. You see here? That green effect is still there. So we're definitely, like, influencing stuff somehow. Then the foot comes across. Snow transition. We see Moon. Okay, so there's the satellite dish. No hidden images in Ascension- uh, sorry, in Origins, then. Oh! Lots here, though. Lots here. Okay. One by one. Nazi zombie, I believe. I believe- Oh, hello! Look at that! That's one of the zombies, I believe, from Origins? With, like, the- the, the bullets, like, embedded in their freaking skulls? And that zombie's looking pretty unhappy as well. But what- Oh my goodness! What are these shots? So that looks really rather gnarly. Just- just to be getting- just to be getting started. Then... That is... I guess like a zombie that's had, like... A bit of a bad day? <laughs> I'm not sure what the deal is there. And actually, by the way guys, I just realised what I should be doing right now is this. <laughs> There we go. A little bit of background music. A little bit of background music. Okay. So. That's Moon, for sure. So we've got we've got the zombie there, looking like it's just had its head stepped on. I think that's an eye, but I can't really tell. And it, like, goes from that to this. But then, that's definitely a shot of Moon with, like, a zombie coming over the hill. And something behind it that I can't really make out. Then you've got some zombies coming forwards. And more of that green effect. Okay, so then it just transitions back to actual moon. So it's just like lights in the background, I guess. And those zombies are walking forwards there. It does kind of look like Lego zombies. It's quite funny. There's the astronaut as well. So if anyone didn't see the astronaut, then... Um, people are saying no music. You can't hear it. It's too quiet. Oh, let me, let me turn the music up then. My bad. My bad. How's that? 
Can you hear the music now? Literally, people are saying, like, no music, or they- Oh, if you don't want music, I can turn it off, that's fine. I don't mind. I'll get rid of the music. That, that's cool, like, I'm- I'm fine with that, that does not matter. Um, but, yeah, let's keep it going. So we've got the- the astronaut there, looking, uh, oh, once again, pretty beast. And... Let's see what else is going on here. So we're staying in the biodome. And we're in Shang now. Okay, lovely. We definitely had some hidden, uh, hidden images just there. Okay, so... There's that same zombie we saw before. So they've actually repeated that one. Which is really interesting. Okay. So then... We keep it going. We see some zombies going a bit crazy. That's definitely a zombie from Origins. Or at least as far as I can remember. Yeah, everyone... Like, a lot of people were saying they didn't want the music. So I just got rid of it. That's fine. Um... We keep going through... So those are, like, just some sort of generic zombie shots there. Which is interesting. I guess it's just sort of showing the memory of there being zombies on this map. But then... We go around here and we see the waterfall and stuff, so... Okay, more zombies? So that's the same zombie we saw a minute ago, so they're definitely repeating shots. They look pretty damn bashed up. Look, that zombie looks like it's got two mouths and two noses or something. That's really weird. That's a Okay, it's got, like... Binoculars and something on its jacket. Interesting. I feel like we've seen that model before. And then... During the stream I said, is this... Are they all Shriekers? It kind of looks like it, to be honest. Like... They do kind of all look like Shriekers. Which is really interesting. Just running across the bridge there. I guess that's the sort of typical Shangri-La image that you think of in your head. Then we go... To Ascension, zombies all over the place. Oh, okay, more hidden images. That zombie again. Another interesting shot there. Some more zombies in the back. Alright, so that kind of film burns its way through. And what's this kind of... Okay, have you noticed the fact that there's like a, an overlay right now? It's like we're inside like a glass chamber or something. Like, before we're in... Like, while we're in Shang, it's like, it's normal. But then as soon as we come into Ascension, like, you see this reflection down here? And the reflection on the side and, and, like, left of the screen. Like, there's black stuff. What is that? Okay, then we get a transition with some really interesting looking images. Um, so... There's a zombie looking... Oh, hello, okay. There's a skull with, like, some kind of coil next to it. That zombie from before. Dog from before. Interesting inverted image. And we keep it going. Okay. And we see more now. So, so that effect on the Ascension screen is still there. Panzer. That's from the DE trailer, I believe. There's a zombie with a helmet on. Um, oh, someone just donated. Oh, we got a lot of donations. Inverted frames equals invert other frames. Try it. We can try that. Tom says that candles out to symbolize it's coming to a close. That's an interesting thought. Okay, so thanks Dennis and Tom, we can we can definitely explore some of those ideas. Well, I mean, like, exploring the idea of candles going out, meaning it's the end, is just a sort of... It's a, a thing to ponder, but the uh, the idea of inverting stuff, that's interesting. Oh, Okay. That's interesting. We're seeing some kind of, like, infection thing here. There's the dog, so maybe that's sort of representing the zombie infection or something? The zombie's keeping on walking. Even more shots here. Crawler something I don't really recognize. Where do you think that is, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. That's a skull, though, but where? More dogs. Okay. Oh, and there's even more hidden images. There's so many in this bit. There's that skull shot again. The zombies again. Okay, and then they swipe towards the camera, and more shots of this weird, like, infected bull thing? Like, tree thing? There's definitely a tree in there, isn't there? Interesting, okay. And then we go out of the snow globe, cool. Sam starts putting it down. We've got our heroes just chilling out there. She stands up. And this is really interesting. So, it starts shaking. And we see all of these stuff, like, all of these things coming through again. The green effect on there. The bright flashes, that green flash again. Zombie flashes as well. And then Sam just dips 
she she just goes away and then Sam opens the door with her teddy and the characters are all broken oh okay that's some interesting symbolism the characters are all in pieces now and Sam is like bruh bruh and then she notices that the door is open the window is open sorry and shuts it and that's the end of the trailer now a lot of people are screaming in the chat to reverse the video it looks like reverse the audio so we'll, we'll, let's do that now okay let's do that now lots of people are saying that so we can do that really really easily here we go let me get the playback resolution uh, just a bit lower, so it's a bit easier for it to render. Okay, this should play the audio backwards. Hold on, wait for it. Okay, let's turn it up so you guys can actually hear that. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the audio backwards, okay? People are saying reverse it, so I'm reversing it. Here we go. That's definitely something. That is definitely something, guys. What? What? Th does that say something about Sophia? Sophia or Samantha? Like, it could be like, die, Samantha. Or it could be like, die, Sophia, something, something. Man, that's pretty crazy. Let's keep listening. I'm not gonna lie, this song sounds lit play backwards. <laughs> Was that more text there?
is the ego. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was just the Peggy 18 thing at the beginning. This scared the hell out of me. Okay, so the bit that's interesting then is like just here, I think. <laughs> Do you think that says Dice Samantha, guys? Because to me, it doesn't sound like it. But a lot of people are saying slow it down or speed it up. I feel like that says Sophia. Like. It's that one section, hold on, it's that one section right at the beginning there. And it's while Samantha, like, like, you can see, it's, it's, it's basically in the little section where she's, she's disappearing. Like, it's while it's kind of shaking around a load, like, and then she just completely nopes out of existence. That is such a weird effect. But, the fact that it's like... And she looks back as well. It's like she's listening to the voice, dude. Dude, oh, that's freaking creepy, man. From the beginning. Damn, that is spooky stuff. Let's go full screen with this. Damn. If it's Die Samantha, and she's like looking back like, yo, who are these spirits talking to me? Like, pipe down over here, okay? I'm trying to play some, play some games with my snow globe. Bro, that's insane. Like, that's super insane. Crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. Okay, well, I think what we should do is we should watch it back through regular speed, like, normally, without it being reversed. And just make sure that we've caught absolutely everything that's in there. And then afterwards we can do our final bits of analysis, but I think that we, we need to watch it through one more time first. Let me make sure that the quality is good. Because it's going to be much smoother than when we watched it during the stream because I've downloaded it now. Okay, here we go. Oh, by the way, donations coming through. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you everyone that's donating. Sorry if I do miss stuff. It's just because the chat's going extremely fast. Yeah, but seriously, donations are massively appreciated. Let's watch this bad boy from the beginning. Here we go.
So the one thing I did notice just then is that there is a lot of whispery stuff at this point. So let's just listen back to this bit because I feel like we might be able to hear some more whispery like backwards stuff if we just analyze this little bit of it. Like between there and Noon or between there and Origins. This. From the beginning, okay? You ready for this, guys? Drop a like if you're ready. Drop a like if you're ready, everybody. Let's see. Let's see if we can hear anything anything special. Alright, hold on. It needs to render the video, so let's just go uh, audio only for a moment. Was that a word there? Does that help me? Sam help me? Maybe? It could be. Whispery stuff here. So, what do you think? Do you reckon that said Sam help me, guys? Or Sam save me? Whoa, a lot of donations coming through. Kyle says Samantha Daring and them is them going from one story to the next. I guess so. It's like an analogy for that. Thank you, Carl, for the donations. Much appreciated. Sam, help me. Let's get it back on screen. Hold on, let me make sure this is gonna show up. Yeah. It does sound like help. Peculiar, ma'am. There's a monster in her room. Well, folks, this has been extremely enjoyable, but I think it seems like the best thing for me to do right now is to basically make a breakdown of this as a specific video and uh, essentially give you guys the ability to just listen back to it as much as you like and comment your ideas. So I'm going to wrap the stream up here. Let's go for one last like spike, okay? Let's do it. The last 10 seconds of this stream. Let's just uh, pound the like button. Let's go. Give it a thumbs up. And... Uh, I mean, what an interesting trailer. Like, really strange. A lot of people saying all sorts of crazy stuff in the chat right now about what they think that the words are saying. It's a monster of some kind. The summoning key. Another donation. Thank you so much. Crazy stuff. Okay, so yeah, let's wrap things up here. I've been Mr. Waffles. If you've enjoyed the stream and the breakdown and all those crazy hidden images and uh, enjoyed my t-shirt as well, the Zombies Chronicles shirt, hell yeah, then uh, drop a like, like I've said, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Um, now I've got to finish, sorry, figure out, not finish, I've got to figure out how to finish the stream. How do I do this? I go over here, <laughs> every time, dude, every single time, I'm such a noob. I go over here, I go over there, I go over there, and I click stop streaming. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been fun. Tally-ho. Bye-bye.